to work with a legend like Trip. Um, you know, he really pioneered uh, a lot of the, my favorite games. Um, and so the idea of him helping us pioneer electronic sports and bringing that to mobile in this entirely new way was just really compelling. Um, so, you know, I, I, that was kind of table stakes. And then as we started to work together more and more, uh, Trip has been uh, so insightful on things like, like human resources and how to build a great team and how to inspire them and how to lead them. And, uh, you know, that's just been uh, an amazing experience for us. Electronic Arts founder Trip Hawkins and Andrew Paradise, CEO of Skills, with our own Corey Johnson. Coming up, BlackBerry CEO John Chen talks to me about the company's earnings. Is BlackBerry really on the Hey guys, there you trail? go. So uh, I just wanted to quickly next. make a video about that because it popped on the TV the second that I came into uh, the hotel room here. And they were talking about Skills, uh, S-K-I-L-L-Z, which is the real money gambling platform that I recently had checked out, and I I, I don't have the uh, uh, the device here to, to show you, but uh, Skills, just to explain it, is kind of like um, a platform to allow games to do real money gambling and uh, virtual money gambling, so that you, the players don't have to bet real money in the games. So I've been playing a pool game recently. Um, I think it's called Real Cash Pool or something like that uh, from the iOS App Store. And what you can do is you can play like a certain number of games. Like you can play uh, versus somebody else uh, in a normal game of pool. Uh, the first person to pop to pop the black ball wins, uh, and whoever wins that round wins you know X amount of virtual currency or X amount of um, uh, real money as well. So if you put real money in the game there and you gamble you know like one dollar, then you can win two dollars or whatever it is. Uh, part of that money goes to the platform, and part of that money goes to the winner. Uh, obviously, if you gamble one dollar, then you then you uh, you lose it. But the interesting thing is that was actually downloaded from the iOS App Store. That was uh, that wasn't like some kind of like um, uh, other app or third party app store from the website. And that's what I was surprised about. I didn't know real money gambling was allowed on things like iOS and Google, but it is, and it seems to be uh, getting bigger. I mean, over. Uh, because I'd just seen that company skills now. Um, that's the 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 one that I've been testing recently uh, on Bloomberg. It kind of, I suppose, it shows that it is like an area which is growing. Uh, Trip Hawkins, that other guy, that the older guy that you saw, he was actually the founder of EA and Digital Chocolate as well, and he's involved in it. So, um, yeah, baby, I'm making a video. So, um, so yeah, it shows that it is getting more attention. Uh, and I think real money gambling, definitely, for example, like in our poker game uh, that we published, the poker game has the highest ARPU because it is a gambling game. So the it's a very attractive thing and a, a very fun thing for users uh, to compete with other players, to compete with friends and try to win real money as well. Obviously, with the platform, uh, with the platform they have to ensure that cheating can't happen. So I think it's a, it's a skill-based uh, platform. I don't know if you can do... A real money gambling with like a poker game because there's an element of randomness, uh, but with a skill-based game, then that might be that might be um, might be different. Obviously, I don't know the rules. I've got to look into it a little bit more. I've not checked the API or anything. I don't know if there's like a Unity plugin. Uh, there's going to be like a native iOS and Android plugin, I'm sure, but I don't know about Unity yet. Um, we did something similar a few years ago with Hey or last year with Hayes app. And they did this sort of challenge system where uh, it was all handled by Hayes app. It was very, very easy. What you do is you just play one game, uh, one session on your device, and then that would just send the score to the Hayes app server. And when the other person accepted the challenge, it would then upload their score to the Hayes app server. And then all it did is later on when you logged in, it would show who won. And that's what it kind of does on this skills platform. It's pretty cool. So on the developer side, we don't have to handle a lot of coding or... Uh, you know, trying to figure out who won or anything like that. That's all handled on the skills side. The virtual currency is handled on the skills side. I think it's called Z Coins. Is their virtual currency? Um, accepting the real money payment is also on their side, and also the um, uh, actually getting the payout as well. So if you're a good player and you win like you know a hundred dollars, then they handle all of that on their side, and they also handle the in-app purchases. 
I need to figure out, yeah, I need to read into how does the developer make money through this. So obviously one of the ways is that the developer would get higher retention for their games. So if one of our games had a gambling element in it, then players would stay in the game longer because it's fun and they're challenging their friends and that, that's all good. But I, I'm wondering if the developer also gets a slice of that, uh, say, $1. The user gives $1, the other player gives $1. So there's $2 on the table. I think the player who wins can win $1.60. So there's 40 cents, which partly goes to skills and partly goes to the developer. So uh, I'm assuming so, and I hope so as well, because that's obviously a big incentive for developers to use their, their platform. Uh, I did see the skills website recently. I'll actually upload it here as, as we're talking. And, um, uh, I don't know, and we can take a look. There wasn't a lot of games when I last saw it. Uh, and I'm sorry, this video is really on the fly, guys. I just literally t turned on the TV as I came in. Um, sort of sort of decided to do a video on it right there and then because it was it was on the TV. So uh, I think the other point is as well, uh, just about this, about eSports, is that I've been watching a lot of Halo uh, Challenger, uh, Halo tournaments recently and just noticing how big things like, um, what's the um, the channel? Uh, I've forgotten. It's not ESPN. It's uh, MLG, Major League Gaming. Uh, they're doing their tournaments now. Call of Duty, Halo, uh, do a lot of big tournaments where they win millions. Obviously, games like StarCraft have been around for a long time with uh, big eSport e tournaments, but it's coming onto mobile more and more now. Uh, so, you know, developers, I guess, you know, while we're looking on here, I'll, I'll just quickly show you guys uh, and try to find out if... if it is available for Unity. I presume so. If not, then that's definitely something they should consider because Unity is obviously a massive platform when it comes to uh, building mobile games. So, uh, no, it's not there. But the the just to point out, guys, their UI and their layout is awesome. Really well done, really well polished. Uh, it was a little bit confusing at first, just a touch, like trying to understand what... Uh, what the Z coins were and then what these buttons do because there wasn't obviously it says rematch there but there were a couple of buttons where I wasn't sure what the what they did exactly so that was a little confusing but <laughs> overall it was a really nice platform like as you can see here it's really uh, really well polished the the other point I wanted to say is that even if we did put skills in one of our games uh, real money gambling that doesn't stop the uh, the single player gameplay experience. So players can just play the normal game like we always have built, like they've made the real game, uh, the, the 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 normal game that we've always made. But then underneath that, we can have like a competition mode button and then that leads into the skills platform. So it doesn't have to be a fully skills game. I, I guess it doesn't. Uh, I don't think they would force that on a, on a developer. Uh, this is the one that I'm playing now, Real Money Pool. So there's not a lot of games on here right now, guys. So it could be it could be a big opportunity since it's not that big at the moment. Um, these guys here also have Haze Up uh, in the game as well. Uh, this one is actually built by Skills, and I think this one was built by Skills as well. This game is awesome, guys. Real Money Pool is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so definitely check it out, not just for the pool game, of course, but uh, you know for skills as well. This is this is uh, that's why I'm recommending you check it out. Uh, like these buttons here, I didn't know what all of these buttons meant. These are the Z coins that you can win, and these are the real money uh, buttons as well. So there's like sort of a bunch of real money bu uh, buttons that you can play, and then a bunch of Z uh, uh, virtual currency games that you can play as well. So. And obviously, you can put money here in here in the store. You can invite new players where you get rewards. So there's some really cool stuff in there. Um, so, but I need to look into this more. It might be something that we that we do pretty fast. I've got to go through the doc documentation and just figure out kind of how this works. But honestly, uh, just from the surface of it, we the other reason why I'm saying this, guys, is that a few. Um, uh, a few months ago, we did a couple of games with a real with a, a gambling element in them. Okay, uh, it wasn't real money gambling; it was virtual a virtual currency gambling. Uh, and what you could do is you could play against another player, and you could bet, say, ten coins, uh, virtual money. And whoever won uh, out of that would take the twenty coins. Then the other player would lose; they would uh, everything. 
Uh, but you could increase you could increase that gambling amount. So you could bet ten if you wanted. You could bet a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, just putting a zero on the end, uh, and that really pushed the player to that next level of of wanting to get more coins, which is a great way to retain players because it always keeps them going for that next level as a clear goal. You know, uh, they've played the ten they've played the ten coin game and they've won a few times. Now they want to take it up a level. Uh, and that's the same thing in our poker game as well. Our poker game has uh, sets of tables. So um, what do they call it when they come into a poker game? Uh, oh, it's not the table bid, is it? The the blind, I think it's. I think that's what you call uh, the buy-in amount. So this table, you only need 100 coins to buy in. Uh, but this table, you need 1,000. And this one, you need 10,000, uh, 100,000, and so on. Um, the The risk is bigger and the blind is bigger. Uh, and the buy-in is bigger, but also the the potential rewards are a lot bigger, and you're playing like a much um, a much more experienced level of of uh, competition in those types of games. So that that's a that could be a great way to uh, to get this integrated. Uh, I tested this in China, connected to a UK account, um, and it seemed to work. And I think I I've not added real money to the pool game yet, but I'm going to test that out soon. Uh, but it's a real cool thing. I'm wondering if anyone else has tried it. Please let me know if you have. I think it might be a massive thing in mobile games. It might be something that can really excel a game uh, if done well. I've considered really basic games like sort of Pong or something. You know what I mean? You can you can have a Pong match and whoever, uh, a single player Pong match. You know, it doesn't have to be real time. That's the other point. It doesn't have to be real time online. With the pool game that I'm playing now, what I do is I, uh, I get the best... Um, uh, I play my shot and then it uploads those details to the server and then the next player plays their shot and then my shot. So it doesn't have to be real time. For example, if someone had like a Pong game, single player, you get say 20, a 20 rally and the ball goes faster and you get 20 points. Uploads that score to the server and then the play, the, the competition, your um, uh, the other player, then they take their turn and they might get like 25 and they win or they might get less than 20 and you win. So you don't have to have real time online. That's all handled by skills and their platform, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm definitely going to look into it and, and find out a little bit more. But uh, I'm wondering if anyone else has used it yet. Has anyone else looked into this? Because I think it might be something huge. Uh, the idea uh, to me as well of uh, actually playing mobile games and winning real money is a very, very cool thing. I mean, to me as a, as a game player, seriously. Um Games like Bejeweled, which I've been addicted to for years, which I think I'm pretty good at, I guess, uh, and just jumping on my mobile and then betting a dollar here or whatever uh, and seeing what I can win, that would be cool. And then seeing if I could go uh, to the next level and bet $100 or $10 or whatever, that would be really, really cool. So, um, But let me know what you think, guys. I hope this video was interesting. Um, again, sorry it was just done really fast on the fly because it was on the screen as I, was, as I turned it on. Uh, but please like guys please subscribe to this video thank you so much for all the support uh, come visit me on howtomakemobilegames.com because I'm not replying to comments on YouTube anymore just because of time uh, but I always post these videos on howtomakemobilegames.com and I reply a lot more on there and I'm a lot more active on, on the forum so thanks so much guys have a great weekend and I'm going to speak to you all soon bye bye